Hello and welcome to Feast One's Eyes on Watches. I've just taken delivery of this Dom watch. It's come in a nice box and you just slide the box open. There's a cleaning cloth inside and then obviously the watch. The watch has got a little bit of plastic on it at the moment. Just get this out of the box for you. So we'll get the plastic off and have a look at the watch. Just took the bits of plastic off and this is my first view of the watch. Now this watch is a quartz watch but interestingly enough in here the glass is actually sapphire crystal and I'll do a little test on that and show you that a little bit later on. It's a chronograph watch. And it only cost 18 pounds at 85 pence. Now that was including all the postage and packing um, and being delivered to the UK. So for that kind of money with a sapphire crystal glass in it, that's quite an amazing price. The actual face on this watch is quite interesting in so much that all the indices are in silver and they are raised and I do like the splashes of red that are put around the watch face as well if you have a look at the second hand that looks very very nice it's this one just beating around here and then where the dials are there's some little bits of red as well the bezel on the watch is finished with these little cuts coming into it and it does make it look quite attractive but for the price of the watch it's finished off really well now I'm not too sure whether this is a stainless steel case but it's obviously chromed on the outside and it does look quite nice and you can see there's no signed crown on this but the finish for the price of the watch is very very good Dom have put a sapphire crystal in the glass on this and if I just do a little test for you so you can have a look there you go and hopefully you can hear it bleeping away merrily right and again when you consider that this watch has cost 18 pounds and a few pennies on it that is incredible value to set the hands on the watch you pull this out to its final click and then you can adjust, adjust these around and about. And this little dial over here is an hour one. And if you have a look at this as I wind it backwards, you'll see that this records the hours as well. If I take it forward, again just looking at this little dial over here, it moves around with the clock. And if I take it to the 12, then it just goes on to the 60. The Dom watch has a date complication, and you can just see it in this little window down here. It's not a framed window. And to set this, you pull this out to its first click, and then you're turning this clockwise. And you can see the date just rolls around. And again, it does function very well, and the dates do drop into the window nicely. The stop watch function on this is first of all these are the seconds and then the minutes around here and if I just start the stop watch you can see that seconds just moving around on this one side if I stop it and press the lower button it then just resets it back for you so start stop and reset and everything seems to function very well with this the dimensions of this watch are the case width is 42 mil from lug to lug it's 48 mil and it's 12 mil thick the crown on this watch is 6 mil 
This is just testing the dom with the sapphire crystal glass in it for its loom. I've just done my 30 seconds of shining a torch on the hand and this is the result. Just turn the watch over onto the back and I hope you can see that the case on here is just clipped on because it's a quartz watch on it. Um, but engraved on the back is a sail ship and you've got some little seagulls just flying around and about from there. And I just hope that uh, my camera is going to pick these up without showing too much of a reflection of the camera. And it does look very, very good. And again, for the price, that is exceptional. The leather strap on the watch is finished to what I would class as quite a good standard. And at the top up here, you've got a, a little metal piece with obviously Dom going on with it, two little artificial screw parts. And then you've got a very nice stitched on the outside brown leather strap. And it does look very, very attractive. Now, the dimensions of this strap are at the top it is 20 mil and then as it tapers down it goes down to 18 mil if i flip this over onto the opposite side you can see that again it's stamped in genuine leather but if i take it to the other side and you've got the dom on it and again like stitching wise it's really quite attractive and the buckle on the watch let's move this around so you can see has got Dom just engraved into the top. So again, value for money, this is quite a nice little watch. I've just put the Dom onto my wrist and I've got a seven and a quarter inch wrist and I think it looks quite good. I may also add that the leather strap on here is very generous in its proportions so if you've got a, a bigger wrist than mine seven and a quarter you have no problem in wearing this one does the dom with its sapphire crystal fit under the cuff well it does and with its smaller proportions it does fit well and it looks nice as well does the dom fit under the cuff with cuff links well, it sure does. And it, again, looks very, very smart. I think this is one of these watches that you could wear casual, smart, or even business. But again, I've got to give that a pass. To make this review as informative as I can, I've taken some screenshots from the AliExpress store where I bought the watch. And what I would recommend is that you pause this video and study these in a little bit more detail. To sum up my review of the watch, what you've got here is a quartz watch. It's a very attractive looking watch. I do like the bezel on the outside and the watch face itself. It's quite an attractive looking watch and it's got a sapphire crystal glass in it and it all comes out at 18 pounds and a few pence. So can I recommend this watch? Well, for value for money, just look at the strap. It's very nicely finished. You can wear this casually or for business or for dress. So yes, I can recommend this. Again, thank you for watching the review. I do hope you've enjoyed this and remember I'll be doing lots of other reviews in the near future. Thank you and bye. Thank you for watching this review. Please like and subscribe.